This is one of the largest, most difficult airlifts in history. And the only country in the world capable of projecting this much power on the far side of the world with this degree of precision is the United States of America. We're going to do everything, everything that we can to provide safe evacuation for our Afghan allies, partners, and Afghans who, 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 who might be targeted if the, because of their association with the United States. But let me be clear. Any American who wants to come home, we will get you home. But make no mistake, this evacuation mission is dangerous. It involves risks to our armed forces, and it's being conducted under difficult circumstances. I cannot promise what the final outcome will be. And the idea that if I had said on May the 2nd or 3rd, we are not leaving, we are staying, does anybody truly believe that I would not have had to put in significantly more American forces, send your sons, your daughters, like my son was sent to Iraq, to maybe die? And for what? For what? Are you saying unequivocally that any American who wants to get to the airport is getting there and getting past the security barrier and to the planes where they uh, want to I go? Thought that to the best of our knowledge, the Taliban checkpoints, they are letting through people showing American passports. Now, that's a different question when they get into the rush and crowd of all the folks just outside the wall near the airport. That's why we had to, I guess, yet was it yesterday, the day before, we went over the wall and brought in how many? 169 Americans. So it is a process to try to figure out how we, how we um, deal with the mad rush of non-Americans, those who didn't help, those who were not on the priority list, just any...